so I just got out of a very painful rank session, right? And I think this is a good thing to discuss because it's something that a lot of players go through and you don't really know what it is, but you know what's happening, okay? And the title of this video is probably going to be something along the lines of it's okay to put down the game or something to that extent, right? And the reason why I say this is namely because when you're playing the game, sometimes you just don't have motivation. Stay with me. So let's suppose we're in the game, right? And your opponent's going for something like this, right? And then you're like, eh, I could decide to stop him. But instinctively, you're like, you know what? Let me let it rock. In those cases, then you're in a situation where now you have to guess because he's plus one and he's in your face and whatever have you, right? It's a fairly uncomfortable situation to be in, right? Obviously, you can go ahead and check that, get whatever damage you want out of it, and then go from there in the game and kind of turn it to your tide. But the thing is, is that you're just not reacting as fast. You're not pressing the buttons when you should be. You're missing your core combos. You're with Whiffing, standing, jumping medium kicks, jump ins, you're whiffing buttons too often. These are things that come in, that are common with burnout, right? And when you feel burnt out on a specific game or on Street Fighter in general, it kind of weighs you down to the point where you don't necessarily want to play but you're still kind of playing it out just to play it out and i'm here to just say that it's okay to put down the game okay it's okay to just say you know what right now you're just getting caught out for instance like when i was playing earlier there's like a lot of mistakes i'm making mistakes that i don't generally make a lot of the time you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but those certain aspects of my game, I know that I don't normally do. Uh, one thing that I don't normally do a lot of the time is delay tech, right? A lot of the time, if anything, it would be delay button. Because I'm being a little bit lazier on offense now, now I'm starting to do delay tech a lot more because I'm pressing delay tech because I'm being lazy on defense. Now I'm getting blown up for large amounts of damage, right? And with time, it can get very tiring and some people can just play it out others can't and you gotta know what it is for yourself and what you want to do like moving forward because um when it comes to stuff like this it can generally just detract you from the game so far that you just never pick it up again right and i'm just trying to get the point across that it's okay to just kind of like put down the game for a little bit right uh for me i'm realizing that my game is suffering a lot because i currently as a competitor quotation marks quotation marks or player i don't have anything to strive for right i have zero interest in becoming like an actual competitor or whatever have you to grind to be the best and on top of which, the MR grind just doesn't seem fun to me. It's not fun. For me, playing the game and playing someone in like a long set, a first to 10, a first to 15, even first to seven, right? Those are where like I like the game and I kind of enjoy it. But unfortunately, the only way to really play this game is on this first to two fashion that I don't even really like all that much. So when you're in this i feel well i've been feeling like they're <laughs> they're honestly I, I i would implore you to find something an outlet of some sort right even if it's like i don't know like a gotcha game we all love a little bit of gotcha games whether it's nike honkai star rail um even weathering waves right it's easy, easy these are all options that you can outlets that you can use in order to kind of get your stress off when it comes to games like this right all of this is just to say that you know I want y'all to open up your horizons and don't be afraid to put down the game or accept that like you're bad you know what i mean like and currently 
I'm bad. I'm like, I'm playing terribly. And you know, it's okay to say, it's not that scary, truly. It, it sucks to say, it does, but it's truthful. And when you're truthful with yourself, it kind of, uh, it can motivate you or it can lead you to realizations and then you can move in accordance with that, right? But the, rea the re reality is, right? Well, number one, the mass majority of folks can't get in the mass to, and they're struggling to get up. And you know what I mean? Like you're making a lot of mistakes. Whether you acknowledge them or you don't acknowledge them, that is on you. But if you feel like you're having a terrible session, it's simply okay to put down the game, take a breather, get water, get whatever, watch your favorite anime, watch your favorite show, whatever have you, and just kind of step away and, and unwind away from the game. Unfortunately, when you play the game at a certain level, you do it. There is kind of like something where you have to kind of continually play it in order to be able to uh, play at a certain level. <laughs> Unfortunately, I pretty much play only when I'm on stream and it is something that I could change but I think my relationship with Street Fighter as of right now, I don't think it's the proper place to do it, right? Obviously, I have a lot of knowledge when it comes to the game. I love watching the game. I love watching people play. That's why I do the coaching sessions. But as a player, I don't think that I'm motivated. I think possibly like a patch or something would definitely spice up the game because as of right now, it, the game definitely feels a very monotonous type thing. And if you do this, you do that. And if they do this, you do that. But then some people will just do J and then just kind of throw off the meta. But the thing is, people don't normally do J because J is a bad idea, but they'll still do J because screw it, we ball. You know what I mean? So regardless to say, take it easy, guys. I hope that you guys are willing to accept that number one, that you may be bad in this season, which is OK, because you can be better in the next. And with that being said, have a good one, y'all. Peace.